Hey everyone, it's guitarist Blake Aaron and welcome to the Mallorca Smooth Jazz Festival 2022. We are so excited because it's going to be a wonderful time, a wonderful show, and we are so excited to bring this show to you. It's going to be great. We have so many special guests and wonderful musicians on stage. We're featuring the amazing Tom Braxton on saxophone. We have Jay Rowe on keyboards. We have Marius Goldhammer on uh, bass and we have Leo Asar on drums. We are going to have a fantastic time. We'll be doing songs from my uh, two CDs actually. One from Soul Stories uh, and then also my latest CD Color and Passion as well as some brand new singles that are a world premiere. So we're so excited to bring this to you. It starts very, very soon. Want to thank Wolfgang so much for having us here on Smooth Jazz in Concert. Thanks, guys. Stage Blake Aram! 
It is so good to see you. Thank you for waking up early and coming out to see live music. That's Jay Rowe on keyboards. Marius Goldhammer on bass. Leo Asal on drums. My name is Blake Aaron, and as uh, Tom said earlier, I do have a new line of hair products coming out. <laughs> Just to let you know how well they work. <laughs> you, you remember seeing the amazing Paul Taylor, right? The amazing Paul Taylor on saxophone. Paul Taylor was bald just two weeks ago. And now look at that lovely head of hair. All right, you guys, we are gonna keep it going with a song that was number one on Billboard for about eight weeks. It is called Fall For You.
I'd like to bring up a very dear friend of mine. We've had the honor of playing together uh, so, so many times uh, all over the U.S. and Europe. And he's one of my favorite saxophone players ever. And he's the most valuable uh, musician here today because he's played with just about everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Braxton on saxophone. got a song that's number one on Billboard for quite some time called Groovers and Shakers.
Well, many of you have uh, met my beautiful wife, Sina, and uh, <laughs> we recently uh, celebrated our 16-year wedding anniversary. Oh, thanks, you guys. And uh, they say that the secret to a great relationship is communication. But they also say that women say three times as many words every day as a man does. Do you guys believe that? <laughs> all, the, all the guys say, yeah. But see now, my wife would say that's only because we have to tell you guys everything we want to say three times before you finally get it. But you know, starting to learn, it takes like 16 years to learn. You know, there's obviously some some differences between men and women and kind of you know the, the standard one is men never like to ask for directions right and uh women have no problem doing that my wife she she never gets lost not even one time because if she even begins to get lost she just changes where it is she originally intended to go <laughs> and she's no longer lost uh, but uh, I actually, uh, I first met uh, my wife when in Asia, actually, in China. Uh, and I was traveling out to Asia quite a bit and later pretty much just to see her. And um, one of the times I was out there, she actually asked me to marry her, which was amazing and blew me away. But the next day when her medication wore off, I thought, you know... I should probably come back here and uh, and do this the right way. So uh, after I got back to LA, I found uh, I found a flight that left at 1 a.m. LA time and got to Beijing at 5 a.m. Uh, Beijing time. So um, I called her on the way to the airport and made believe that I was you know going to sleep and say good night. And by the time she woke up, I was actually in Beijing. Uh, with a sign saying, uh, Mary Messina. And one of, the, oh, one of the songs that I played for was this one, and I think uh, you guys might recognize.
Happy break after that one. Well, we have a brand new song out this year. Actually, we have two brand new songs out uh, this year. And uh, this one spent uh, quite a bit of time already at number one. And uh, I wrote this one together with Adam Hawley. It's called uh, Dreamland.
Thank you so much. Thank you guys. A lot of people ask me what is the favorite song I've ever written and that's so hard to answer because songs are kind of like your kids. How do you choose uh, between them? But there is one song that um, personally means a lot to me and I'd like to send it out as a special dedication uh, in a number of ways because um, you know, and I think one thing we can all agree on is right now we're living in a world that is so divided, but music really brings us together. Um, absolutely. If we just look out at all these wonderful people, people from all over the world, people of all races, colors, creeds, we're all coming together as, as brothers and sisters, as it should be. With, with live music. And one of my uh, favorite uh, brothers in music, and he was such a special man, both personally and, um, and musically, was a guitarist by the name of Nick Colleone. And I know you guys Nick is just one of these human beings where he would take the time out just to just to tell you that he loves you. I remember just seeing him at Berks Jazz Festival, which was actually the last time I saw him was at uh, Berks Jazz Festival. And uh, he came up to me and goes, Blake, I just want to let you know that I love you. And it was just so meaningful and it wasn't, uh, it was real. It was real from a guy like Nick. And uh, so I want to send this uh, this is a very personal song it's called story of my life but i want to change it to story of our lives to go out to all of us which brings music uh, all of us together and send it out to uh, my friend and dedicate it to nick colio and by the way this is j row on piano and keyboard.
welcome back to the stage, Mr. Tom Braxton on saxophone. We're doing a song that I had the pleasure of uh, co-writing and uh, producing with Greg Manning called Feel So Right.
Are you guys having a good time so far? I said, are you guys having a good time so far? If you guys are having a good time, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to turn to the person next to you, and I want you to say to them, if it wasn't for you. Go ahead, we'll wait, we'll wait. Turn to the person next to you and say, if it wasn't for you. And then say to them, I'd be the best looking one out here.
to look like you guys want to go home. All right, we'll do one more on one condition. There's a whole empty space up here ready for you guys to dance. So we're going to do one more if you guys all get up and dance to this one. So everybody stand up. This is a brand new song. It's called Crush.
of all, thank you to you guys coming out to see live music. We really appreciate it. We will be right in there signing CDs. Please come by and say hi. We'd love to sign one for you.